thanks for coming in. Um, we're just here doing an audit, uh, just to get to know what it's really like to be a WCCMT student. Uh, can you introduce yourself to the camera, please? I'm Jules. I'm Trish. So Jules, can you tell us how your experience has been as a student here at WCCMT? It's been great. Yeah, the school's great, but sometimes I feel like I'm being watched. <laughs> so Jules, do you have any study tips for any future WCCMT students? I got a few. So, after, uh, you know, six months, or how long has it been since we've been here? Like, since May? Um, <laughs> I still get confused with Terry's minor and Terry's major. So when we got a major problem, like this entire week of exams, it's Terry's major. But when we got a minor problem, like, you know, like I can't pay rent, that's only a minor problem. I sit like this for eight hours a day. All right, so according to Dr. Nick's book, contracture is permanent shortening of the muscle, fascia, or ligament due to lack of stretching or use. Jules, the book is upside down. This is how I read. Oh. <laughs> One of the main I issues with contracture is your muscles start to shorten. So, the muscles that shorten are your hip flexors. The main ones are your TFL, your rectus femoris, and then your psoas. But to add to this, your hamstrings start to shorten at this joint too because your knee is always flexed and to add to that you get upper and lower cross syndrome so you end up just sitting like this this shortens this tightens your rhomboids get long and then you're staring at your phone 24 7 and then you just hate yourself after the week <laughs> now here are some typical seated postures that the typical student typically does throughout the typical class day. Here we have the <coughs> student standard, also known as the office express posture. Upper and lower cross syndrome are an issue. The crotcher. Huh? The muncher. The snoozer. And then we have the way back layback. So Trish, what do you Can think? Go to the bathroom. Yeah, go ahead. So Trish, how do you feel about admin and how the school's been run so far? It's great. You know, we have class reps, we have Peter, we also have Jules, but Jules is a little bit questionable. What do you mean by that? Jules, what are you doing? Nothing. I mean, I feel like sometimes she's more of a class pet than a class rep. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm using my muscles of mastication to help me eat this. There's four muscles. I don't know them, so I'm gonna read them out for you. <laughs> I forgot my O's and I's of all of these muscles. Good thing I have this handy book <laughs> to show me my O's and I's. Check it out. So, here's where the temporalis is. Look at that. This is the masseter and medial and lateral pterygoid. All of it, right here, laid out. I came up with a little easy uh, nursery rhyme to remember tibialis anterior and fibularis longus and brevis. Come along children, let me teach you. So, with tibialis anterior, we got our tips, and then with our fibularis longus, we got our fibs. Let's sing along together. Tips and fibs. Tips and fibs. I love muscles. <laughs> you know, I'm just always dreaming of Dr. Nick. I mean, I mean muscles. How did that song go again that he taught us? It's like one little, two little rotatoris, three little, four little mul. 
all five to the die. Five little six little semi spinalis all belong to transversal spinalis. I like to dance. What this school has taught me is the actions I'm doing when I'm dancing. We got anterior pelvic tilt, posterior pelvic tilt. Anterior pelvic tilt, posterior pel pelvic tilt. All right, Jules, so what muscles are you activating right now? Well, when we're doing our anterior pelvic tilt, we're activating our psoas. Psoas or so <laughs> I'm done with school. See you later, Obturator. In a while, Conda. Ooh, girl.